Essentially. Yeah, let's talk about some of those measures because he did go into quite a lot yes, of detail about did. how he this did. bill, if it passes, yeah. Parliament because will Because he work. also wanted to address the criticism that he hadn't worked on the issue. He said, we worked for three years, here's what we're going to do. And just one important uh, element, uh, the, this bill is going to be presented uh, before the Cabinet on December 9th. Yeah. Uh, it was supposed to be earlier on, uh, the last word was November, now it's December, it's going to be, go before the Cabinet and then before Parliament. So. Uh, there's no way it's going to be voted. Okay, fine, Marco. Yes, yes, I know. I'm going to do it less than. Voted before the end of this year. So it could be law by next year, essentially. It could be law, but that's the objective, obviously. And what about some of these concrete measures then? What, well, what he, he, he said, you know, we have, uh, we have to address uh, the, the issue, and he called it a Republican awakening. So he said that, you know, there are several uh, pillars. First Listen, guys, this, this is a serious issue. I mean, I've been, I've been to France three times, right? And the first two times I went to France, I, I experienced a completely different France from the third time I went to France, okay? So, yeah, it's not the same. And, yeah, it's like France is going to completely be a different country if it keeps going this way, right? I mean, it's not an exaggeration, I think. I mean, and, and I went to the Muslim areas, and it just seemed like I just stepped into a different country. I mean, yeah, it needs to be more like Canada and the United States when it comes to the Muslim population, okay? In Canada and the United States, when you go to university, when you go to high school, when you go to the grocery Muslims go to the same grocery stores that other people go to. The Muslims go to the same colleges and universities that other people go to. They will go to the same boardrooms, they work at the same offices, they're working at the same banks, they're mixed with the rest of society, okay? They're shopping right next to other people, okay? But when I went to France, it was like, oh, here's other people, here's French people area, and here's Muslim people area, and it looks completely different, and they live completely separate lives. And when you say Muslim and not French, it's on purpose, okay? So, yeah, that's horrible. He's, he's just gonna. He cannot. He cannot say like this. Like it's, if it keeps going like this, this, is a major threat. And if you keep segregating them even more and more and more, they uh, it's gonna have a large percentage of the population that doesn't agree with secularism, that doesn't agree with any of the Enlightenment values, doesn't agree with gay rights, doesn't agree with women rights. And these people are completely separate, and they're gonna be able to vote, right? They're gonna be able to vote. And again, I'm not saying that it's gonna take over and like they're gonna be all. Muslim or anything like that, but they're going to have an influence, even if it's like 5%, it's 5% too many of people that are going to be homophobic, that are going to be misogynist, that are going to be against secular values, that's going to be a huge influence on the direction that the country is going. So this is a major threat to the future of France. Again, I'm not exaggerating, like if you go some, to some of these far right YouTube channels and stuff, they're making it seem like, oh yeah, they're going to be like half of France in the next 20 years or something like that, right? It's not going to be like that, but people are like, and the, but the reaction to that from the leftist content creator is like, oh, guys, pff, here, here's the actual number. It's 5% or like 8% or something like that. I'm like, 8%? 8%? Eh, ah, like what? Like, you know how much a difference 8% vote could make in completely derailing the values of a country? As he, like, so I know that the far right people exaggerate but again, th this is still a serious issue. First of all, he said we need uh, to address the issues of uh, uh, people's attitude in public transportation or we, when they go to a swimming pool or when they go to the doctor. Uh, obviously, uh, he's saying... And again, I'm not saying, that the, again, Muslims would not just because they're not a problem just because they're Muslims, okay? The problem is that they're segregated and they're being radicalized because they're segregated, right? This is not as big of an issue in Canada and the United States when it comes to their Muslim population. You know, women refusing to uh, shake hands or to share a swimming pool uh, with men or so on. He said, you know, we'll give uh, the prefects uh, in, in the regions a possibility really uh, to suspend some decision by municipalities to allow separate times uh, for women in swimming pools and so on. He said, you know, if we feel this is essentially feeding this separatism yeah. well uh, after the yeah so the, the federal government is saying like yeah we can't let these cities and the municipal governments coming and saying like giving in to these demands of you know 
segregating the pools, some other public areas. Um, because we're like basically instead of trying to challenge this, it seems like the municipal gover um, governments are just saying like, here, you want more segregation? Here's some more segregation. Here, more like they're trying to, they're giving in to the demands of their Muslim population. And Macron is saying like, yeah, well, yeah we're gonna mean it to cut that crap out. And then the Muslim people are like, oh, what happened to freedom? Like, nothing happened to freedom. Nothing happened to freedom. You, you cannot make demands. Imagine, it's, it's like saying like, hey government, make me a steak in the exact way I like it. Have it ready here for me right now. I like steak. Make me steak. And the government like, yeah, we're not going to make you steak. I'm like, what happened to my freedom to have steak whenever I want? Like, yeah, nobody's stopping you from having steak, okay? But that doesn't mean the government has to provide steak for you anytime you want it. Is that, that's, I know that sounds dumb, but that's how simple this is. That's how simple this is. Your freedom is not being violated because you're making demands of the government and the government is not meeting every one of your demands. We got a $20 super chat. Holy crap. Tw thank you so much, Ronnie. That's a lot. Um, thank you, Ronnie. Uh, $20 super chat by saying, ex-Muslim from Bosnia, keep, uh, keep up arming, bashing those mullahs. Bro, like what you're doing. Oh, thank you, Ronnie. That's, I really like it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. That was a lot. Guys, if you're not rich, do not give me this big super chat, okay? Prefect to suspend the measures allowing different hours, for instance, in swimming pools. Well, what was he saying about bus drivers? Well, he said some uh, bus drivers, uh, apparently, and this was reported, uh, sometimes uh, made some remarks about the way some women were dressed, you know. Passengers. Passengers, yes, saying, you know, essentially they were not uh, dressed enough or sh showing too much flesh. Yeah, imagine being, imagine being a French woman in France, living in France and going to, into a bus and the Muslim bus driver is like, lady, you need to cover up. Excuse me? Excuse me? Like, what? No. You, you, shut up and drive the goddamn bus. What the hell? You're like enforcing your religious rules and in France and because you're driving you don't get to do that like do these people get fired for telling the passengers that they need to cover up like yeah and if they don't get fired then it's not just a bus driver problem that means like there's a whole institution protecting these kind of ideas essentially it's a very difficult issue he didn't want to uh, essentially uh, call out people but this is what he was addressing then he said associations mm -hmm. he said there are many associations that can be set up very easily mm -hmm. he said we need more control yeah 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 again like uh, iran is making associations all over europe and in north america just build this uh, the freedom of religion maybe you don't want political influence in western europe or north america because that's illegal Sure, we won't have political organizations. We'll just make religions one, religious ones. That's how we get in, right? So Iran wants to come and have influence in North America and in Western Europe. You can't, your freedom of religion. I'm going to make a Shia center here and a Shia center over there. And Shia center, these are religions. These are not political in any way. These are just religious institutions. Wink, wink, not, not, right? And Turkey, like, hey, I'm just going to make half of the mosques in Germany is all of a sudden Turkish for some goddamn reason, right? And Saudi Arabia has been at that for like, here's a madrasa here, here's a madrasa over there, right? So again, these are, if you want to be, if you want to make political institutions in other countries and have an influence on them, but you can't because it's obvious that you're politically manipulating the people there. You just make religious ones uh, and you do your political influence under the guise of being a religious institution. It's really easy to set these up, right? And he's like, yeah, we can't, yeah, guy, you like, come on. Like he's Macron is saying, we see what you're doing and we need to cut this crap out. Exactly, but what they're doing, where the money is coming from, yeah. and we'll have them sign essentially a chart whereby they will claim. That Imagine being offended by that. Like, yeah, you guys have to sign this paper saying like you're not you're not doing crap like that. And like, oh my God, so offensive. That they abide by the laws of the republic. Oh no! Oh no! We have to sign a paper that we're saying we're not going to break any laws. How Islamophobic! 